So I have the following matrix A, this time it's a 4x4 four four matrix, and I want to do a QR decomposition of it using the householder transformation. So again, um, I need to find my parameter U, which is given by X minus X prime, where X is the first column vector of the matrix A, so this column vector here, so it's uh, the vector 1, 0, 1, 1. X prime has as first component the norm of the vector x, so the norm of the first column vector of a, so the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 0 squared, so the square root of 3. And all other components are 0. So this is my householder formula. So h1 equals the identity matrix minus 2 times u times u transpose over u transpose u. So now I can find my vector u, which is the first column vector of a minus x prime. So I get 1 minus square root of 3, 0, 1, 1. So now I have my vector u, and so now I can plug everything into my formula here. And I get the following householder matrix. So this is a 4x4 four four matrix, because here we are in, yeah, we consider the the entire matrix A, so the entire 4x4 four four matrix. So now I apply it to A and I get the following result. And uh, as expected, the first column vector of A only has the first component, which is non-zero, which is actually the norm of the old vector. Actually, it's x prime, if you want, okay? It's the reflected vector that was reflected on an axis. So only one of its components, the first component, is non-zero and the other one are zero. And uh, yeah, I get other results. I get 1.15, 1.15, 1.15, 1, 1, 1, 1, negative 0 0.58, 0 0.79, negative 1.21, negative 0 0.58, negative 0 0.21, and 0 0.79. Now I will only consider this three by three submatrix here, okay? So uh, if I only consider the submatrix, the first column vector of this submatrix is this column vector here, um, which will be my x, so it will be 1, negative 0 0.58, negative 0 0.58. x prime, the first component of x prime will be the norm of that vector. So it will, should give us 1.29, okay? So the square root of 1 squared plus negative 0 0.58 squared plus negative 0 0.58 squared, okay? Um, if I did no mistake, you, sh I, uh, you should uh, also get uh, this 1.29. And uh, the other components are 0. So now I can again get my vector u, which is uh, x minus x prime. So the first column vector of this submatrix minus x prime. And uh, so this is 1 minus 1.29, negative 0 0.58, negative 0 0.58. So I get negative 0 0.29, negative 0 0.58, and negative 0 0.58. Okay. So now I have my u. I can again use uh, this formula. This time it's a 3 by 3 matrix. So I get my second householder matrix. So h2 prime, okay, so 0 0.78, negative 0 0.44, negative 0 0.44, negative 0 0.44, 0 0.11, negative 0 0.89, negative 0 0.44, negative 0 0.89, and 0 0.11. Okay, you can plug that into a calculator, or you can do it by hand, but it takes a lot more time by hand. Okay, just plug in the vector u, this formula, and don't forget uh, the identity matrices. My matrix here. So here for um, H2, given that the, the submatrix is a 3 by 3 matrix, the identity matrix will also be a 3 by 3 matrix, okay? The first, by the first one, uh, it was, uh, the identity matrix was a 4 by 4 matrix, okay? You, sorry, you apply your, uh, you just plug in your U and you compute everything and you get your householder matrix. Then, uh, once you have your second householder matrix, to be able to multiply it by uh, A times H1, which after all is a 4x4 four four matrix. We need to have the same number of dimensions. So we need to make the second household matrix a 4x4 four four matrix. We do so by plugging the, um, the this 3x3 three three matrix that we got here into the same place basically as the submatrix that we considered here. 
okay? And we put a 1 in the diagonal and 0 elsewhere, okay? So 0 in the first row and first column of this uh, new 4x4 household matrix, okay? So, um, yeah, 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 we do that so that the numbers basically outside the submatrix don't change. That's the, the, the role of this one and uh, those zeros in the row and column outside the submatrix, okay? So now we have again a 4x4 four four matrix because this uh, H2 prime here is a 3x3 three three matrix, okay? So we, in total we get this 4x4 uh, four four matrix. We can now apply it to A times H1, okay? Um, and uh, we get the following result here. So as expected, the first row and first column didn't change because they were outside the submatrix. And uh, the first column of the submatrix that we considered before has now only the first element, which is non-zero, okay? Which is, uh, as I said, the norm of the uh, old vector, okay? So the, the, the norm of this vector x here, okay? So the square root of 1 squared plus negative 0 0.58 squared plus negative 0 0.58 squared. Okay, and the, the other elements are zero as expected. So again, we considered a vector, the first column vector of the submatrix and we reflected it in such a way that the, the reflection now lies on a um, um, coordinate axis such that the, the first component is um, non-zero and is the, the component of this coordinate axis and it is the, the length of the old vector and all other components are zero, okay? So uh, yes. We, ref we reflected it in such a way. Okay, here we got 0 0.52, 0 0.52, uh, here negative 0 0.17, negative 1.17, negative 1.17, and negative 0 0.17, okay? Now we will again consider uh, the sub, -sub matrix this time, okay? So uh, this uh, two by two matrix here, okay? So um, the first column vector of this sub, -sub matrix is the um, it's negative 0 0.17, negative 1.17, okay, it's uh, this here, okay, it's uh, this here. Um, our vector x prime is uh, has its first component the norm of that vector, okay, uh, so the square root of negative 0 0.17 squared plus negative 1.17 squared, which should give you 1.18, okay. And uh, all other components are zero. Okay, so now we can again get to our vector u, which is uh, x minus x prime. So we get negative 0 0.17 minus 1.18 and negative 1.17. Okay, so this is our vector u. Now again, we plug that into our formula here. Okay, and um, this time it's a two by two matrix. So the identity matrix will also be a two by two matrix. And uh, if you plug in everything, again, you can do it by hand, plug it into a computer, uh, you should get um, negative 0 0.14, negative 1.99, negative 1.99, and 0 0.14, okay? You should get that. So that is your um, third household direct transformation. And again, the, so that the dimension match with um, the A times H1 times H2, okay? So that it matches, sorry. Um, we need to transform that, change that into a 4x4 four four matrix. And again, we do that by putting our 2x2 two two household matrix in the same place as the submatrix we um, we uh, considered here, okay, basically. And uh, we put uh, a 1 in the diagonal here and another 1 in the diagonal here, okay, so 1 in the diagonal and 0 elsewhere, okay, so the first row and first column and second row and second column they have ones ex uh, they have ones in the diagonal and uh, yeah uh, in the diagonal of the matrix and zero elsewhere okay and uh, your uh, two by two household matrix here in this sub matrix okay so now we have again a four by four matrix and uh, we are able to multiply uh, a times h one times m times h two by this third household matrix and again if you do that. Uh, you will notice that the elements outside the the sub sub matrix that we considered, okay, so the element outside, so um, 
uh, square root of 3, 1.15, 1.15, 1.15, 0, 1.29, 0 0.52, 0 0.52, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. They don't change, okay? So I didn't rewrite them here because they don't change, okay? Because um, I said the ones here in the diagonal and the zero elsewhere outside the subjects uh, um, allowed us to not change them, okay? But inside the submatrix, um, the first column vector has now again changed, okay? So the, um, the first uh, component of the column vector, of the first column vector in this sub submatrix, sub okay? Uh, is now the, um, the length of the old vector, okay? So it is uh, 1.18 here, okay? Which was the square root of, um, of uh, this vector here, okay? So the square root of negative 1.17 squared plus negative 1, uh, sorry, the square root of negative 0 0.17 squared plus um, negative 1.17 squared. Okay, so the square root of negative 1.17 squared plus this, um, uh, negative 1.17 squared. Okay, I hope I did say, say it correctly. Uh, yes, and uh, the other element is 0 as expected. So again, uh, we uh, considered uh, basically um, uh, a vector, okay, in uh, two dimensions this time because it's the sub, -sub matrix of, the, of this 4 by 4 matrix and we reflected it in such a way that now the reflection lies basically um, on the coordinate axis so in such a way that the first component is non-zero and it's the length of the old uh, vector uh, sorry uh, yeah it's the length of the old vector and uh, all other components are zero. So uh, here we're in two dimensions, so this only the second component is zero, okay? Hope you can read it, okay? So it's supposed to be the norm of the old vector here, written, okay? And, uh, okay, so uh, the as other element we get 0 0.33 and 1.13, okay? So now we have reduced that in an upper triangle matrix, R, Okay, so we are finished. We have done our QR decomposition. So now again, uh, remember that A is equal to QR and uh, that Q transpose A is equal to R. Okay, because um, Q is orthogonal, so it transposes it inverse. So if you multiply by Q transpose on the left, uh, you get uh, the ident identity matrix times R on the right and Q transpose times A on the left. Okay, uh, yes. And uh, so to find your Q, you can take the transpose of H1 times H2 times H3, H3, okay? So um, if, you remember, if you remember matrix, uh, the transpose of matrix multiplication, this is equal to H1 transpose H2 transpose H3 transpose, okay? So let's trust the rule that, uh, yeah. The transpose of h1 times h2 times h3 is, uh, yeah, this thing here. Okay, I think I yeah, should read it from right to left instead of left to right. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I think that's it. Okay. So I remember the steps you have to follow every time. Okay. And of course, do a QR decomposition with the household transformation with more than four uh, with a higher than four by four matrix. It's just it just takes uh, more time and it can get really messy, especially if you try to if you especially if you try try to use clean numbers. Okay, so square roots and squares instead of decimal numbers here, like zero point fifty eight. Okay, uh, but you can do it. Uh, what you need to remember is this formula here. So u is x minus x prime. x is the first column vector of the matrix you consider, or the submatrix you consider, or the sub submatrix you consider. Okay. Uh, x prime as its first element, as first component, the length of the old uh, of this first column vector, and all other components are zero. Okay. X prime is basically the reflection. Okay. That you get by yeah by reflecting this vector x onto a coordinate axis. Okay. And then you need to use your formula here, your Hausler formula. Once you got your vector u, you just plug in everything. And uh, also very important, uh, you as said before, you need to consider then the submatrix and the sub submatrix until you get you reach a two by two submatrix, and then you join one last time for a two by two submatrix. 
Um, again, you um, in the submatrix you all consider the first column vector of this submatrix, uh, and you proceed in the exact same way. And then for uh, uh, to be able to multiply it with a such that the dimensions match, uh, you need to put a one in the diagonal and a zero elsewhere in the row and column outside this submatrix. Okay, so uh, you have again the same number as, as dimensions. So here again. Uh, this household matrix was um, a 3x3 three three matrix because we considered the 3x3 three three submatrix. So now we, we needed to put 1, 1 in the diagonal and 0 elsewhere to be able to multiply it by A times H1, okay, which was a 4x4 four four matrix. And uh, you continue that, you repeat the same steps. Um, with the second submatrix, you will need to put two ones in the diagonal and uh, have two rows and columns full filled with zeros and then here again you put your uh, submatrix inside and then you proceed until you get your upper triangle matrix R as set okay uh, yes and then you can uh, calculate your uh, matrix Q okay and R is already, is already given after all after you applied all the transformation and again as said uh, each of each of these transformations basically can be seen by like I said, you, if you reflect a vector x in such a way across a hyperplane that we don't really care about, uh, but you reflect it in such a way that uh, the reflection lies on the coordinate axis. So if it lies on the coordinate axis, it has only one non-zero component, which is the component of the this coordinate axis. Okay, and uh, that coordinate is the length of the old vector, and those are components in zero. And that's why we use the house of the transformation to do QR decompositions of matrix. Okay, because uh, all components except one of uh, a column vector of a matrix get are uh, reduced to zero, and so you can use it to, to uh, um, yeah, a QR decomposition to find your upper triangle matrix. Okay, that that's why you use it. Okay, so I hope I forgot nothing, uh, and I hope it was clear. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.